27, 2019. This is the Bulldog and Chain Podcast. I'm your host, the King of Villains, Bulldog Malenko. This is 30 Minutes of Mayhem. Here we go. Russ, I finally had a dude puke in my car last night. What a disappointing experience. Is $80 enough to clean up someone's vomit if it is minimal and the rest is outside the car? That's what Uber gave me for a cleaning fee. Hell no. I'd have been like, I need 500 bucks at least. Because let me tell you, there would have been a hell of a lot more puke in my car had someone puked in my car. Because then I would have started puking and it, the situation just would have been exacerbated. It would have been so much fucking worse. 80 bucks for a cleaning fee you can't even get your car detailed for 80 bucks can you unless you like roll through gym town and have one of these meth heads do it but even then you're probably getting half your shit stolen and you know like your car's not gonna run anymore because they probably stole the fucking wires out of the engine jesus a dude puked into your car huh that's that sucks russ i hate that for you brother erica lynn I dyed my hair dark brown, Bulldog. You want to see it? Hell yeah, I want to see it. Always. You don't even have to ask. Just send a fucking picture. Always send pictures. Bulldog loves pictures. (laughs) Oh, Jesus. Erica Lynn again. Yes, fuckers, it's Friday. Since you missed this last week, here it is. Why in the fuck is it not okay (laughs) <laughs> for me to get behind dudes, grab them by the hips and do the hump thing. Like y'all do it to us. We just want equality. I can't tell you how many times that's actually happened to me. Like girls, I don't think that that most women like to admit this, but women are just as if not filthier than most men. Like for real. Women are some dirty dirty creatures and y'all try to act like you're not. But most of us, we know. We fucking know. And yes, it should be perfectly fine for you to just walk up behind somebody. I, I think you should be able to walk up behind anyone, so long as they're an adult. Walk up behind anyone who happens to be bent over, like picking up. Maybe they dropped a dollar or they're picking up something off the floor. You should be able to hump them. Uh, I mean, that just that seems like a great way to bring levity to every situation, right? Just make people laugh all the time. I, who's not going to laugh if somebody's humping them? Like, for real? Motherfuckers getting bent out of shape over stupid shit. Yes, I think, like, I hump statues. I don't give a fuck. I'll hump mannequins in the middle of the store. I do not care, okay? You got to get crazy. Got to get crazy. Life is fucking short. Jason. Do you want to come to Princeton to see me performing at Gua- Guacamole Grill October 19th? Guacamole Grill. I don't even know. Let, hold on. Let me. Uh, I don't even know what day that is. Like, that's just a, a month and a number. It doesn't really mean shit to me. Uh, let's see here. I got to open up my handy dandy calendar on the 19th. That's a Saturday. Hmm. That. That actually, that could be a possibility, brother. I might be able to see if some, a couple of buddies want to make the trip up to Princeton. But the problem is, it's Princeton. And that's, that's like a 30-minute drive. So I'm not going to be able to drink like crazy because then I'll have to drive. Like, I don't even be able to have a couple beers. And then I got to drive home. And I don't know anybody. Like, none of my friends know how to DD. So, you know what I mean? But might be able to work that out actually because i definitely want to come see you play like i want to come see your band that'd be fucking cool erica lynn what's the weirdest fact you know um this is this is my favorite fact uh so there are more stars in space than there are grains of sand on every beach in the world but there are more atoms in one grain of sand than there are stars in the observable universe wrap your minds around that fuckers um, I also know that, uh, <laughs> I don't know why I know some of these things that I know, but like, like another weird one is like in world war two, like Japanese kamikaze pilots, if they were successful in their mission, they would get a promotion. Let that sink in. Everybody got it. That's going to get it. 
All right, moving on. AJ, for one million, would you perform in a Tijuana donkey show? Man, you give me a million dollars, I'll fuck the shit out of that donkey. That donkey won't know what the fuck happened. Man, hell yeah. I'll fuck you for a million dollars. I'll, hell yeah. Man, I'll fuck, like, most of my audience for a million dollars. And I, when I say most of you, I don't mean, like, pick one. and No, I mean, like, round all of you up, put you in a room where you can't get away from me. <laughs> Feel like, sorry, people, I'm about to get paid, and I'm going to have a really good time. So, sucks to be you, nerds. Eat it. Erica Lynn, are cats actually, are, are cats really aliens, bruh? I think they are. No, I think they're little miniaturized assholes, and they are just, they're, okay, if you think about this, like, when we first, when, when modern man first appeared right around 250 to 300,000 years ago, we lived in fear, mostly of big predatory cats. That, that's what stalked us. Like, that's why at night, you know, when the fires went out, you had to be extra fucking wary because there were big motherfucking cats. And then for whatever reason, people just thought, oh, but if we just keep the little bitty ones, they're, they're cute and cuddly. And, oh, look, they have like they have razor blades attached to their feet. This is fun. It, cats are evil little fucks. Like some of them are really sweet and lovable and cuddly, but... Most of them just sucker you in like this asshole cat I know named Jane. He is like the sweetest, seems like the sweetest fucking cat in the world. And then all of a sudden he's like, Rah! he tries to fucking rip my arms into ribbons and fuck you, Jane. Uh, that fucking cat's my nemesis. I swear. Uh, Erica Lynn is cereal soup. Why or why not? Oh, this question was already answered a couple weeks ago, sweetheart. You missed that one. Um, that would be compliments of my friend Katerina. She fucking ruined my whole goddamn show with that question. <laughs> AJ, so is it just me or does Jessamine Duke? Who the fuck is this? So is it me? Or does Jessamine, Jessamine Duke look like her mom fucked Mr. Ed? I'm going to have to take your word for it. I don't even know who the fuck that is. Explain it to me, people. Who the fuck's he talking about? AJ, who is this? I don't, I don't know who that is. Jew boy, you want to go make a one-eyed donkey <laughs> run in circles? What the fuck does that even mean? Make a one-eyed donkey run in circles. What, are we going to, like, stab McNinch's eye out and tie him to a post and just whip him until he's dog-tired? I don't... I don't understand. Get it? Because McNinch is a jackass? <laughs> I love that dude. Uh, let's see. What else we got here? Oh, Jesus. All right. Bruce. As an exhibitionist... Why do folks misconstrue the fact I know I have the marble bag men's thong on backwards? Well, brother, I mean, look, maybe uh, I look at, I see it from your point of view, man. Maybe you want a little more coverage in the back, right? You don't need people staring at like your entire ass cheek, but you don't mind showing them the satchel. Like at least that's how I roll. That's how I live my life. Uh, like if, if, if ladies and gentlemen alike want to peek at my nice man purse, they can gaze upon its glory. And it is glorious because I got huge fucking balls, okay? Like, that's why my dick looks so small because my balls are so goddamn big. Maybe I just got a small dick and huge balls. I don't know. But if you're wearing this thong out in public and just <laughs> that thong out in public... Um, you need to send me pictures, Bruce. You need to get on that Erica Lynn train. Yes, I, I want to see this. <laughs> I, fucking, I really do. I know I shouldn't, but I do. Oh, fuck. You people are really starting to just... I thought I was fucked up until I started doing this show, and then I realized, oh, no, I'm not fucked up. It's my environment that's fucked up. And it's just made it worse over these, like, three and a half years. You know? You... You people are a bad influence on me. Like, I was very, like, I was once a very sweet man. And 
you know, just loving and nurturing and very caring. And now I get mostly get asked questions about my asshole and my dick and it's just ruined me. Way to go. Way to go. This is all your fucking fault. Just know that. Okay. Betty, is there footage out there of you wrestling back when you wrestled? So there used to be, there were a couple V, I mean, this was VHS tapes and I don't have any of them. I don't even know anyone that does. I'm pretty sure that shit is lost in the ethos forever. Like it's just gone. I wish I had them. I do. But you know what? At, at that time, I didn't really care. I, whatever. Oh, well, I wrestled once upon a time. It was all right. <laughs> Jimmy. If I get to meet the boys tonight, should I tell them to hit up your podcast? Number one, if you get to meet the boys tonight, fuck you. And two, of course you should tell them to listen to my podcast. Why the fuck would you not? Clutch should be listening to my show all the fucking time. If for nothing else, than to hear just how great they are and why they're fucking great. Because, you know, there's plenty of times I've gone into detail about that. I mean, that's just, that's a no brainer. And I need to get these assholes on my show. Like I need to interview them so fucking badly because you, anybody who knows me, if you listen to this fucking show and if you listen to clutch, you know that this is a match made in, in hypothetical heaven, right? Like this bulldog interviews clutch. Are you kidding me? That's going to be one of the most fantastic fucking interviews ever because I'm I'm going to dig up everything on them. Like, I'm going to get it all. Yeah, I'm going to be fucking... Whew. I'm going to be like the ghost of Christmas past. Like, I'm going to find out shit about these dudes. If I ever get lined up to interview them, I'm going to find out shit about these dudes that they have forgotten about themselves. I'm going to bring that shit up and be like, so tell me the story about this. And they're going to be like, oh my God, why do you know that? <laughs> All right, and again, Jimmy, fuck you if you get to meet them because I have been to 20 goddamn Clutch concerts and just this last one, JP threw me one of Neil Fallon's guitar picks on my birthday. That's what I got, which I love that guitar pick. I cherish that guitar pick, but no, Bulldog doesn't get to meet them. Like I've met every other goddamn band on the, on the planet that I love. I've gotten to hang out with them. I've become friends with some of them. Not Clutch. No, nope, Clutch don't give a fuck about me. I don't get it. I don't understand. All I do is throw them love. I just, I just try to try to smother them with love, and they just they couldn't give a shit less about me. Sounds like other people I know. I <laughs> smother them with love and fuck off, Bulldog. Ah, uh, goddamn story of my life. Samuel. Do they call it almond milk because no one can say nut juice with a straight face? That question has already been answered as well. All right, people, look. No, I'm not even doing it. No. We're going on to your next one, Sam. Is it okay to pull the bag of wine out of the box and stab a straw in it like it's a giant adult Capri Sun asking for a friend? God damn it, Samuel, you're asking for me? That is the most fantastic idea how about a gag on it, Glinda? Why why have we not done this? Where's Kayla? Like and Jackie and and Katisa? Where where the fuck? Why have we not done this? Why have we not had an adult Capri Sun party? That, that's it. It's happening. Sam, you are a motherfucking genius. I tell people this all the time. I'm like, dude, you gotta meet my autistic friend Sam, but he's fucking He's one of the smartest people I know, and he has really great ideas. And this may be the pinnacle of your great ideas, Sam. I want adult Capri Suns in the form of a big-ass box of wine that I pull the bag out of and stab a Capri Sun straw into. And I would drink that bitch like it's a Capri Sun, so it'll be gone in about four gulps, right? God damn it. Why don't they make like gigantic bags of Capri Sun anyway? Like what the fuck? Now I want wine and I want Capri Sun. Thanks, Dick. Samuel again. Motley Crue had a song called Smoking in the Boys Room. <laughs> oh god damn it. Ah. Uh, if that song came out today, would it be called Vaping in the Gender Neutral Safe Space? <laughs> Yup. 
<laughs> oh, motherfuck. That's great, man. That's... <laughs> Uh, Samantha says, well, considering the syphilis, oh yes, for, for those of you who don't see my posts, but you still listen to the show, today's post to get the questions was, okay, my loyal subjects, it's Friday. You have questions, I have syphilis. I mean answers. And so Samantha says, well, considering the syphilis, I'll have to think of a new question. Damn it. Uh, I, I'm not quite sure how to take that, Sam. Like, what's... What's going on? You can't ask me a question because because I got syphilis. I mean, I still have most of my cognitive abilities, and you know, I can still somewhat formulate answers for questions despite the syphilis. <laughs> Jeremy, was this you that commented this? Oh Jesus Christ! So he sends this meme and it says Pornhub comments are better than the videos. And the comment is, oh, seriously, after 20 minutes of getting to choke this gorgeous girl with his cock, two little poots of cum is all he could manage. Pathetic. I registered an account just so I could leave this comment in hopes he sees it one day, fronting like you're some alpha male while Elizabeth is performing her heart out. And what do you give her? <laughs> two tiddly winks of cum? I've never felt so personally offended by porn before. You're a real asshole, pal. Sadly, I did not leave that comment, but that is a comment that I would leave. <laughs> that's, fuck, man, that's my wheelhouse. And there are ladies that will, will back up that I, in fact, do not give two tiddly winks of cum. I will fucking make that shit run out of your goddamn nostrils. Like, <laughs> your, your alarm will start dinging like, oh, she's full. Yeah, I cum a lot, too. Like, a fucking a lot, a lot, okay? Like massive amount of cum like sometimes a girl will get one or two gulps and then she's like mm, there's more and I can't swallow anymore and then she has to spit it in the trash can <laughs> sub zero <laughs> oh I know you're gonna laugh when you hear that all right, well, guess what, people? I'm, I'm going to check and see if anybody commented any other questions, but ooh, it looks like I'm getting out of here early today because I ain't got any other shit to answer. Y'all fucking, y'all really let me down today. Like, I don't know, were you expecting each other to pick up the slack today and just nobody did? Like, what happened? What happened? Because we didn't even make 20 minutes of mayhem. There's going to be like 19 minutes of mayhem. But whatever, I got a date tonight, so I got to get the fuck out of here and get ready got shower wash my ass you know scrub my balls a little bit so everybody else i hope y'all are getting laid have a have a great wonderful weekend and uh, try not to die